Hello, my name is Kyle Bradford and I have been working with iPrint for about 20 years and uh, I'm going to show you a feature that came out in 2017 with the iPrint Appliance 3.0. It is called the Printer Portal or the iPrint Portal. Here's what the page looks like and before I go into much detail about it, I'm going to give a little historical context of what this page can do for you. Basically this page, the main purpose is to install printers. Traditionally, the way we've installed printers is have our end users go to the slash IPP page. It's the DNS name or IP address of the iPrint server, slash IPP. This is the way it's been done with Open Enterprise Server and the iPrint appliance. And uh, you can see your list of printers here. You can see the printer location, which is what me, I'm the administrator for this server. I used words that I felt made sense in my organization. In your organization, it may be by department group, buildings, uh, locations, branch offices, whatever description makes most sense for you, or location in this case. And then you also have a description of the printer. Uh, again, whatever makes most sense for you. I, I just, I felt the need to put something here, so I called some of them black and white, some of them color. I, I don't recommend you use uh, these descriptions. I recommend you use something that is searchable that'll make sense to your end users and you'll see why in a moment. And here you can see um, we have a regular printer here, a secure printer here with a lock pad on it. We have a direct iPrint printer with this arrow going through it. Uh, the purpose of this uh, of a direct printer is instead of going to the iPrint server to be spooled and then to the printer it goes directly to the physical network printer. So this is historically, traditionally, how we install printers. Now there's other ways uh, that you can install printers. There's what's called the map tool, which I'm not going to talk a lot about. But uh, in fact, there's a video here. If you go to YouTube and search iPrint Microfocus Map Tool, you'll see a nice video that shows you how to create these and manage these. But basically, the administrator does a lot of work, creates something like this. This is your building, let's say. And I'm going to go to the fourth floor. and uh, here we have the layout of the fourth floor. You can see where all these printers are located. And your end user can easily find the printer in relation to themselves. Click the link. It'll install the printer. And uh, it's great for end users. Very intuitive and easy for end users to use. But it is quite a bit of work on the administrator's part. Every time you create a printer, delete a printer, you will need to go in and modify this, update it. So there is work involved, but it's, it's excellent for end users. Uh, another way to install printers, and I'm just going through all the different ways to install printers so you can uh, get a feel for all of your options, is you can go into iManager and select a user group or, or a container of users. I'm going to choose the admin user in this case. I have a really small environment. It's my test environment. And uh, whether it's a group, user, or container, it'll have this iPrint Client Management tab. The default is to not update the workstations, but if you choose to uncheck that, you can click Add, and you can browse through your e-directory tree and say, I want this printer to be added when next time admin logs in. And any workstation admin logs in from either the iPrint client or the OES client from, or the Nobel client for Windows, uh, it'll pick that assignment up and auto-install that printer for them. This requires, of course, the administrator to be aware of which printers their end users might need. Uh, another way to install printers, again, I'm just showing you all the different ways to install them. If you have the iPrint client installed, here's what the, here's the iPrint client system tray icon. I have it installed. If I type iPrint CMD, it throws up all these options of all these different uh, abilities I have with this executable. And notice the dash A, which is to add, it's this top one here, to add a printer. You can have no GUI show up where it doesn't show the progress bar. You can set it as a default printer. You can set it as a temporary printer so that when you log out, uh, it removes the printer. And then the required attribute right here uh, is the iPrint, uh, the printer URI. So here's an example iPrint CMD with no I in the middle, dash A, IPP, colon slash slash, DNS name or IP of your server, slash IPP, and the printer name. And I ran this before this video, printer installed successfully. You can run this in a login script. Uh, you can uh, 
if you do it in a login script, you put a pound or an at symbol at the front of it that will execute that, uh, that program. Uh, or you can just have your end users run that directly. Or you can push it out through Zenworks, which, by the way, is another way to install printers. You, uh, Zenworks has an iPrint policy where you can assign printers to users, groups, workstation objects, and you can have printers installed that way. So now that you have kind of a, a feel for how printers can be installed on Open Enterprise Server and on the iPrint appliance traditionally, I'm going to show you a new feature, iPrint Appliance 3.0. Uh, eventually, this feature will come to Open Enterprise Server, but as of this recording, which is uh, July of 2017, uh, this is only available in iPrint Appliance 3.0. Uh, to get to this uh, tool, your end users will go to the DNS or IP address of the server slash print. It'll add this printers at the end of it for you, but they just go to slash print. This page comes up. It looks kind of like the IPP page where you can, uh, the traditional page where you install printers, and it works that way. If you hover over it, it has an install button, you can install a printer. There's a, another feature I'm going to mention real quick, but not going into too much detail, this quick print feature. You click that, and you can drag and drop a file into here, or you can click here and it'll open up a Windows Explorer session. You can browse to a file, and you can print without ever having the printer installed on your workstation. It'll just upload the file to the server. The iPrint appliance has rendering capabilities where it will render the print job into a printer-ready format. And you have a few options here, you know, copies, letter size, or page size, sorry. And then you print it. Uh, this is a really cool feature. It is exactly what it says. It. It's a quick print. You don't want to install the printer. You just want to send a quick print job new feature with iPrint Appliance 3.0. Now here's the real reason I want to show you this page. These printers have names of course, they also have a location, a description, and they have something else I want to show you. This is the PSM status page that administrators use. Log into it, you click the advanced, generate report, and I want to show you my printer model, printer location, and description. The location and description I filled out as the administrator. I used words that make sense to my end users. The printer model is picked up by SNMP communication to the physical printer. Notice when, and the, it depends on the IP address. All these printers have IP addresses pointing to real network printers. And when he communicated to them for the first time, the printer came back and said, My model printer is Dell C2660. Uh, DN color laser and so forth. Uh, this one, I did not enter this information. This information was given to me or given to the iPrint appliance by the physical printer. So uh, the reason I want to show you this is, uh, and this is what I believe to be the coolest, most useful feature of this print portal. You can search on anything. I don't have a lot of printers, so here it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But when you have several hundred printers, wouldn't it be nice to be able to search on all printers that are color, for example? Those are the ones in the description that says color. Or for location that exist on the north side, or northeast, or south, or in, as far as the model number that was given to me, a sharp printer or any that have PRNT in the name. Notice I'm searching by name, location, description, model. All these are searchable, uh, which is nice. But what's even more nice is as an administrator, let's say I have a, an accounting group or a building A group or a branch office group, whatever that is, and, they're, and the description knows them some way. Uh, I'm, in my case, I'm going to do a black and white printer group. That doesn't make a lot of sense, but because I don't have an organization like yours, just go with it. Notice in the URL here, it says search equals BW. As the administrator, I can copy this URL. I can put it on my intranet site, push out through email, whatever makes most sense, and say, hey, all you people in the sales organization or the accounting or in this branch office or this classroom or this building, Whatever description, these are the list of printers that will be most applicable to you. 
here is your customized personal list of potential printers to install on your workstation. Uh, we've I've worked with customers, like I said, for 20 years, and and this is something uh, that's been asked for, and I can see a lot of value in this. Administrators want to make this as easy as possible for end users, and administrators want this to be easy for themselves. Map tool is awesome, a lot of work for the administrator. This, not much work for the administrator, uh, easy, intuitive, uh, simple for the end user. This is the iPrint portal. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, you can play with these drop down features. Notice it queries and knows all of my locations and all my printer types, whether it's secure, direct, walk up printers, which I won't talk about in this video, and uh, all the different model printers. So you can query through those drop down as well. So enjoy this print portal and enjoy the iPrint product. Thank you. Thank you.